judges for the next bout from Canada. Our next contest is between Korea, boxers from Ghana Italy, and India. England. Your in referee in charge of the action division. from Trinidad and Tobago, James Beckles. So we have scoring judges from Canada, Sri Lanka, Korea, Italy and India seated around the boxing ring, all of them using the 10-point must system. James Beckles of Trinidad and Tobago is our referee. First to the ring, boxing out of the red corner, representing Ghana, Jesse Latte Latte. Approaching the boxing ring for his first bout of Birmingham 2022 is the experienced, talented operator Jesse Larty from Accra in Ghana. Approaching it, his place of business for his fourth Commonwealth Games tournament here and a bronze medalist at 64 kilogram light welterweight four years ago in the Gold Coast edition. The four time reigning national champion of the West African nation having taken his second welterweight title earlier this year. He's here competing at 71 kilograms. He has got designs on a return and to the Commonwealth Games medal roster. Representing England, Muhammad Harris Akbar! What an ovation for Harris Akbar. The 23-year-old becoming one of the few Englishmen in 50 years to claim European Championship gold, joining Luke Campbell in 2008 and Peter McGrail in 2017, winning four contests out of four to claim top spot on the medal rostrum. Ladies and gentlemen, Yerevan, this is a round of 16 men's light middleweight contest fought over three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you first in the red corner, representing Ghana, Jesse Latte Latte. And his opponent in the blue corner. Representing England, Muhammad Harris Akbar! Brief shot of Lewis Williams up in the stands cheering on his teammate. James Beckles of Trinidad and Tobago just saying to Lee pulling that some of the Petroleum jelly has got to re be removed from the eyebrows of Harry Sackbar before bringing them to centre ring for the final instructions. Ready? Keep your heads up. No hitting behind your head. No low blows. No holding from you. And no holding from you. Okay, yeah. guys? Touch guards. So we're underway then. Action in the 71 kilogram light middleweight division between boxers from Ghana and England. The Southpaw wearing red is Jesse Larty, 29 years of age from Accra in Ghana. The 2018 Commonwealth Games bronze medalist at 64 kilogram light welterweight. He just got through with a good Southpaw left. And a man on the front foot wearing blue, the taller figure. He's picked off by a right jab once again. He's Harry Sackbar, the newly minted European Championship gold medalist from the continental events in Yerevan, Armenia earlier this summer. There he sinks in a good left hand to the body. Lot comes back with a flashing lead right of his own. Two of the favourites here for the gold. have been drawn against each other very early in the tournament. But everyone would have looked at the draw and wanted to avoid the man in blue, Aris Akbar, the current European champion. So th this is a tough draw for, the, for Larty, the Ghanaian, but he himself, experienced operator, and people would have been looking at him in the draw, wanting to avoid him. So yes, this is against two of the favourites. Again, no seeding. <laughs> well, the referee calling time and speaking to Harry Sackbar in no uncertain terms about stepping on the lead leg of the start for Jesse Larty. Well, it's good boxing actually from, from, from Akbar because he, he doesn't want to fall short. 
and that's why it's where he's launching his attacks from and occasionally yes you're going to step on the his opponent's foot if he's a side four but when he's stepping on the foot it means he's in range and that's better straight shots there from akbar Martin looking to establish his own lead right jab to catch, back, to catch advancing out ball. Ball weaving away from the punches but may have been caught by a glancing right from the south pouring red. Terrific ring craft being demonstrated by both of these boxers really having to work for their openings good defenses from the blue gloves of Akbar to fend off and repel that one-two salvo from Lati. Here Lati tucks up tightly behind gloves but then was picked off by a left jab down the middle. Akbar coming out fast here High work rate, keeping that guard nice and high, trying to block them shots from Larty. His strength for me, Akbar, is his straight shots, mid to long range, very accurate with his jab, and that straight right hand, and that's what you'll need in this contest against Larty. Larty looking for that right hand to the body once again. Left jab landed from Akbar, beating Larty to the punch. He was looking for a counter right jab of his own. Near Larty comes forward. Right jab was short. Left cross did get through. A high tempo chest match this one of the physical variety on the canvas of the boxing ring. Closing seconds of the opening round. That has been very competitive indeed. But it's Akbar who has been the busier of the two boxers. Incessantly, incessantly, invariably going forward. Larty standing his ground and trying to score with counters. Competitive opening round between two of the, of the favourites for a place on the medal roster. And let's listen in to Lee Pullen. I thought it was a very competitive round. Overall, I thought. Not, um, it was that bar that probably did the, the better work, literally because he's outworked his opponent. A couple of good shots from Larty, but it'd be interesting to see how, what, how the judges see it. Towards the end of the round, Larty did catch Akbar with a couple of good shots. But overall, Akbar outworked Larty for me in that round. Here come the scores and the greater activity of Harris Akbar, rewarded by all five of the judges. A clean sweep of the card cards 10-9 across the board so into the second round we go just as we're able to bring you live scores well truth be told i think the corners get the scores before we do so larty will be aware that he's conceded the opening round unanimously he spent the majority of the opening round on the back foot or holding his feet here he's looking to get on the front foot and back up akbar it's resulting in a furious trade-off at centre ring, not much accuracy from either man, but there's a beautiful right-hand counter landed by Akbar, the only successful shot of the exchange. Very often the scores from the first round dictate the tactics in the second round, and that's what's happening here. I think Larty chose the tactic of sitting back a little bit in that first round and, and got caught and was outworked. This round is different, he's trying to come forward a little bit more, but that may play into the hands of Akbar. Remember, Akbar's strength are his straight shots like those there. If Larty's coming over that front foot, then he risks walking onto that right hand. And Larty, when we've seen him over the years, which is the decibel level increases here at the National Exhibition Centre Hall for Larty's strength is that patient counter punching. So if he's got to get on the front foot and go in pursuit of his man, that perhaps he's capable of it, but perhaps not his strongest suit. But again, a very well-rounded operator is Jesse Larty. Well, he is, but he's got to work harder, Ronald. He's not working harder than a party. Nowhere near. I can see what he's trying to do. He's trying to block the shots on his arms and the gloves, but he's being outworked. If you look at Akbar, some of the shots are missing, but some are getting through as well. And there's not a lot coming back from Larty at this stage, so the man in red has got to work harder here, and it's Akbar for me that's winning this one. Yep, I would agree with you, Richie. Just a quick glance. There's a beautiful right hand during that exchange from Akbar, whose confidence is growing by the second. Nice left jab from Akbar. Disrupts the forward advance of Jesse Larty, who is simply not active enough in this second round. He tried to get on the front foot in the first portion of round number two after conceding the opening round unanimously. 
but here on the back foot once again double left hook to both body and head i think the body shot was the cleaner shot from akbar but good variety being demonstrated by the reigning european champion reverse one two attempted by lati not particularly accurately confidence seems to be lacking from, from lati here ronald he's been outworked he's got to respond better work again from akbar really going through the gears and again he's outworked lati in this round Jesse Larty, phlegmatic expression, but he's appearing rather subdued. And it's a forlorn walk back to the red corner for the 2018 Commonwealth Games bronze medalist. He's going to need a massive final round. Well, I'm assuming that. Let's see what the scores say when they come in. Yeah, it works again here. Akbar was the, was the more active. Larty. His feet are a little bit slow. This was right at the start of the round, so he started a little bit quicker, did Jesse Larty, but then soon, soon got back into that familiar pattern of just sitting back, holding the feet, trying to block the shots with a with high guard, and he did block a lot, but some got yeah, through as well. Look for that one, two, one to the body. You landed it twice yeah. this round. Do it again, yeah. okay? Don't neglect the body, but let your hands go, okay? Just, just pick this up. So let's take a look at the scores. Two rounds completed. Both of them scored unanimously in favor of Harris Akbar. 10-9 for all five scoring judges. As we move into the third and final round, Jesse Larty needs a massive final three minutes to overturn the two-point deficit that he faces for all of the ringside observers. And he has come out more briskly than the manner in which he ended round number two because he needs a big round just to get back to parity. Yes, he does need a big round indeed. I think this has been a classic case of the draw's been made. And Marty has thought, oh, I've got the European champion and has come into this contest lacking in confidence, but that was a better shot from him. Although the referee's saying it's an illegal shot because it was inside the glove. But yes, there hasn't been a lot of confidence in, in the way he's boxed Ronald. Started off on that back foot. Now he's got to go forward. Now he needs something really special to, to win this contest edging forward but as he left it too late and he's gone in his third and final round Akbar using the space of the ring remember the clock is on his side time is the enemy of Jesse Larty Akbar razor sharp reflexes being demonstrated tucking up behind that left shoulder left hand attempted by Larty but it's off the off the mark and again there's just been no change of gear from Jesse Larty momentarily got over the front foot to begin the second round again we know that he likes to box on the back foot and draw the lead and then counter Akbar can afford a little bit of showboating looking around the stadium air here at NEC Arena Hall 4 for where those shots wound up because they missed the intended target by some distance. Yeah, Larty certainly isn't boxing like someone who's who, who needs this last round really, really big. No change again, just goes back to that familiar pattern of slowing the feet down, waiting for the attacks from Akbar, but there's no urgency in his work. I think he's set, settled for second best here, and I think he's settled mentally early on in this contest, didn't really come out and exchanging the blows, waited for Akbar. And for me, he's been second best in all three rounds up to now. And again, no discernible change in tempo from Jesse Larty. The clock continues to elapse. The right cross from Akbar, partially blocked by the gloves of Larty, but it was a forceful shot. Desperation swing over the top allows Akbar to engage in a little bit of showmanship once again. Just reasserting and reinforcing the superiority he demonstrated over the course of three three-minute rounds. And Jesse Larty, well, he's been a different, distant second best in this contest. And that is because Harry Sackbar set his stall out early and completely dominated from opening bell to land. The contrast in body language tells you all you need to know as the bell sounds to conclude this contest. Harry Sackbar celebrating with his fans, Jesse Larty. Well, it was a 
slump-shouldered walk back to his red corner because he knows he's been bested here and with some ease by the reigning European champion. Yes, potentially at the start of this contest, this was a tricky um, fight for Akbar, but he, he really um, demonstrated his dominance with that front foot pressure and the work rate early on in the contest, and he's well won it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by a unanimous decision in the blue corner, representing England. So, Harris Akbar opens his Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games account with a unanimous points decision victory over the 2018 Commonwealth Games bronze medalist at 64 kilograms. Jesse Larty competing in his fourth Commonwealth Games here. Exits the boxing ring and exits the tournament. Truth be told, it was a rather flat performance, but perhaps the presence and the boxing skill of Harris Akbar had something to do with that. He receives a warm embrace from Reed Pullen. Gary Hale with a pat on the back as well. A very good performance. And Harry Sackbar goes through to the quarter-final stage. Now, it doesn't get any easier because awaiting at those quarter-finals is the reigning silver medalist from Gold Coast four years ago and the Olympic bronze medalist, Northern Ireland's Aidan Walsh. Good performance from Akbar and... Um started the contest very quickly sort of snubbed out any challenge at all from his opponents in that opening round set out his stall there did aris akbar and just continued it lati he looked a figure that was dejected right from um, 